Caroline hit me to these picks uh, called Attack Picks, and uh, it's a new, it's a company I'd never heard of before, and he showed up with one, and you know how much I like the um, U2 pick, the Edge pick, and um, it gives you a kind of a bitey sound when uh, you, you actually flip it over and pick it with um, the other side, the part you're supposed to hold, it's, it was originally intended to be a grip so you wouldn't drop the pick, but players like the edge started to use the si the, that side of the pick to actually scrape the strings. And this company like takes that to a whole nother level and they put them on the tip of the pick instead of on the grip of the pick. And um, so I'm gonna play um, six different picks I'm going to play my main pick that I use a lot of the time, which is, um, my main pick is these gravity picks. I've been using these a lot for the last five years or so. I like them because they're a little bit bigger than the uh, Dunlop picks I was using, so I, I think as you get older you like bigger grips. And also it had, uh, I get the unpolished edge, and it, it gives you a little bit of a scrape too. <laughs> It's a little bit scrapier than a Dunlop pick or a normal Fender pick or something. So that's why I started using these. But it is fun. I have a lot of picks. I will even pick with a, band, uh, with a bottle cap sometimes. That's really annoying. <laughs> so, um, But these uh, attack picks come in all different shapes and sizes, different uh, textures and everything. And so I'm gonna do, uh, they have several picks out. I think they have eight different styles. I'm gonna do five of them that are particularly designed to, to scrape the strings in different ways. And I, I went with kind of a clean sound, well, very clean sound. Uh, because the more gainy it is, the less you're going to hear that nuance between the picks. Also, I put a little reverb on there just to make it sweet sounding and enjoyable. Um, and a little bit of compression. Um, so that's what's going on. I also didn't play like a lot of rock stuff or anything. I didn't do soloing or anything. It was basically just kind of a, a rhythmic idea, a rhythm part for a song. And um, so that's, that's what I played for the uh, example. So check it out.
Okay, so what did you think? Did you have a favorite one? I'm kind of digging the Blade and the Blade 2. Those were kind of my two favorite sounding ones. They were a little more subtle than the Attack Pick, um, or a lot more subtle. <laughs> but anyway, I hope you dig it. I'll put links there where you can check out their website, and uh, they, they sell on Reverb. I've been buying these on Reverb. And you can get an 8-pack that has all 8 of their picks, um, and you can try it. You can have all sorts of fun with those. Like I said, I love having lots of different types of picks. I have wood picks, coconut picks, stone picks, uh, picks made out of bone, and all of them have a different tone. I have picks made out of rubber and felt. All of them do serve a different purpose, and sometimes I'm just looking for that weird sound that will kind of pop, oftentimes in a, a game score or even on a pop song. So um, that's kind of why I'm really into picks. And uh, so check these out, and I hope you enjoy the video. Thanks so much. Bye-bye.